Hello everybody, welcome to the SmoothSync overview where I will give a quick rundown on how to get started with using SmoothSync. What we have here is just the sample rolling template provided by Unreal. I have changed absolutely nothing with it. As you can see, the one player is synced, but the other player is not using Replicate's movement, which is the built-in uh, Unreal way to sync objects. So let's, uh, let's use SmoothSync because it will actually work then. So what we have here, just click on the object you want to sync, add the smooth sync component, and what you are going to want to do is turn off replicate movement because that will conflict with what smooth sync is trying to do. And we will press play, and as you can see, the one is synced, and now they are both synced. And that's it. SmoothSync is just as simple as adding the component of what you want to sync. Every single variable comes with detailed comments so you know exactly what you are changing. With SmoothSync, you have full control over what gets sent over the network, which means better gameplay for your gamers and cheaper bandwidth costs for you. Say you have a 2D game, you can avoid syncing position and velocity in the z-axis and save yourself tons of bandwidth. Say you're only rotating, you can just turn off syncing position entirely, and you will only send over the rotation, saving you even more bandwidth. Additionally, you can compress the floats that you send over the network into halves, and save even more bandwidth. And that's it. You've got completely customizable smooth syncing over the network without writing a single line of code. Thanks for watching.